Yo, we're back at it with this VR mining and tree chopping code along using Unity 3D. In the last video, we created custom character animations for our character's hand and created a character controller so that these animations can be played in Unity in our game. In this video, we're going to implement character movement and rotation as well as object grabbing. Here you can see us grabbing a pickaxe. <laughs> All right, now that the hand grabbing is working, we will add in movement. And movement is actually very easy to do in this. So for movement, all we have to do is go to the XR player. And what we're going to do is add continuous move provider and do action based. And we're gonna do continuous turn provider, action based. So for this, we have to give it the forward source for our continuous move provider, and we're going to use the camera for our forward source. Now the camera is a forward source. Now we need to give it for what controller we wanted to control the movement, and we want the left hand to control the movement. We go ahead and put in the reference of the ref uh, left hand and the actual uh, re uh, input reference is move so we're gonna click left hand uh, move input action the so left hand locomotion move input action for the left hand and now we look and we're gonna change the speed from one to six okay and now for the turning we're gonna give it the right hand use reference and now we're gonna type in turn, which will give us the right hand turn. So make sure you don't use snap turn, but locomotion turn. All right, and that should set up our movement. Let's press play and see how that looks. And there's an error. Object reference. I made the same mistake again, didn't I? I made the same mistake again where I didn't copy the th Oh my god, I'm cursed. This is truly a curse. I remember this was negative 130. And this was whatever this was and that 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 should be right I don't remember but okay anyways um, <laughs> we had an error so let's go to the only place where we can have that error which was the locomotion oh yeah, we have to make sure we add the locomotion system. So add component and add locomotion system. There we go. And then for the XR origin, add the player. And now for each of the locomotion systems, We just drag and drop the XR player. There we go. And now we press play. Should be working. Okay, hands in my face. One times. Where is my other controller? There we go, hands are lined up properly. The pinch needs work, but everything else is working fine. Grabs are nice. Pinching works with two hands. When I grab both of them together, the two things are blended 
into one. So cool. All right, my arms are moving. You can see my little shirt. My other arm, my shirt. Good. Okay. And now for the movement. Yep. And you can see the movement causes this jitter with this script, and it's because everything is updating on the late update. We can actually modify his scripts to one use lerping and to use better smoothing to make sure it's always smoothly going to where it needs to be and two to use a fixed update or another type of update or a normal update. All right. So movement turning is working. Forward back left strafing is working good nice job you guys now let's move on to object grabbing we're getting really close to the end right here so to do object grabbing we have to first create a little table and do that by and go ahead right here we're going to create an empty no create a 3d cube and reset the position move it forward a bit perfect and we'll move it in just make a nice like thin little table a little long all right so that's our table uh one thing that's important here is that our character needs to have a character controller so for let's go we'll add a character controller so that we have gravity and other things affecting us and over here in our continuous movement or in gravity application mode we should do immediate gravity is always applied and then we have our our character controller which to see the character controller would turn gizmos back on for now I like to position it properly so one on uh, yeah perfect fits my character pretty nicely and the radius will make really really thin we don't need that much so. So we have good amount of reach for our arms to grab everything. And the height, we'll just leave it what it is. So that's fine. Um, yeah, so the characters, con character controller is put in, the table is made, which is just a square. <laughs> well, let me create a uh, folder and call it materials. In here, we'll create two materials. Round, and then another one. Uh, table. So for the ground, we'll go ahead and assign to the ground and we'll change the value to something a little darker. And a little bit more brown. Okay, and then the table will be like a orangey, brighter orange. Cool. So we have our table, it's a little small right now let's go ahead and make it bigger taller I mean okay so now that that's out of the way we need to create our grab for our hands and for our objects or whatever for the object we're going to create but well, we're going to be creating a two-handed grab so for the object we're going to use a 
pre-made assets and we're going the whole point of this is to create a mining and tree chopping so we need a pickaxe and a normal axe so let's go to the asset store and then search online so here is where you can see right here this is the set you want to get the tool set poly pack it's free so I'll go ahead and search that up and we'll uh, click install or whatever I already have it in my asset store so I can open the package manager and from unity registry go to my assets and here you can find your asset that you're looking for so the tune um, the tool pack the tool set poly pack I'm gonna go ahead and click import import everything and then X out now we have the poly pack on prefabs we have an axe which is yet uh, pink fun and we have a pickaxe also pink fun let's fix the materials so we have three materials for the materials since we're in the universal render pipeline we need to make sure our material materials are set to that so for metal I'm gonna go ahead and click the drop down go to universal render pipeline and click lit and do that for all of them really go that universal render pipeline lit that universal render pipeline lit okay but as you can see the colors are still not in is because these textures don't have their base maps assigned so we want to go to texture and assign the base maps for each of these so texture go ahead and put in the base map and there you see your the color is starting to come in uh textures map textures base and there we go we have our two tools that we will be using uh to break these rocks and trees first of all let's go ahead and rotate the tools to a better position to lay on this table so 90 90 on the X and the Y all right perfect and now we can begin creating the hand interactions to allow us to grab and move things in uh, the unity VR All right, so let's get our grabbing mechanic set up, which is pretty easy because of the XR interaction toolkit. Now, for the grabbing mechanics, we first have to set up our hands a little bit better. Let's go look at our hands, and I'm gonna hide the gizmos again. Now, in our XR player, we go to our left controller. Here, we need to add a sphere collider to set it as a trigger and make sure the center is zero zero and the radius is I would say 0 0.05 is a good radius to have for this okay I'm going to have to show the gizmos again just so I can see the uh, collider. And I think that's a little small actually. We'll go 0 0.08. 7. 0 0.07 is what our collider will be at. And this is actually going to be make sure the trigger is set as trigger. This is going to be your trigger zone for your grab event. So whatever's inside this trigger zone will be grabbable. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right controller. In fact, we're going to 
copy this component. I'm going to right controller, add component, sphere collider, and paste component values. And there we go. We have the exact same thing, but for the right controller. So since both of our trigger zones are set up for our grab, now we can add our the direct interactable or the direct interactor and we get an error saying that we can't have the direct interactor with the XR ray interactor which is fair we don't even have it on we just have it attached so let's go ahead and right click remove remove the line render we can't remove that until we remove the XR interactor line visual and then we can remove the comp line render component and yeah we're left with only the components that we need on the controller which is the XR controller the sorting group the sphere collider for now okay so since we had both of them selected it deleted uh, the components on both of the selected items which is good and now select both the items again and we can add the direct interactor well, now that we have the direct interactor this is what will set up the interaction stuff for our hands at least on the hand side of it so we have to on a direct interactor we need to assign the interaction manager the interaction manager was created for us when we created the XR origin object so it should be right somewhere in your scene go ahead and drag that onto the XR interaction manager uh, interaction layer everything perfect the attach transform and so our attached transform can be left blank and everything else can be left how it is we might want to change the state change to state but for right now we just leave it how it is okay so our hand part of it is set up now let's set up the part for our axe so first we'll set up the pickaxe and then we'll set up the normal axe for the pickaxe, we need to add a. First of all, it has a mesh collider, but we can't use a mesh collider for this. So we need to remove the mesh collider. And we need to add a box collider instead. And the box collider will go ahead and zero out its center, except on the Y. and make its sizes on the X and the Z 0 0.5 0 0.05 I mean so the X and the Z should be 0 0.05 and leave the Y's how they are okay and then you'll get a nice little handle right there perfect All right so our box glider is in now we need to add a rigid body to whatever object we're trying to grab. And we'll go ahead and set the interpolation to interpolate and the collision detection to continuous. And yeah, and now we add a grab interactable, an XR grab interactable onto this uh, axe. Now, this is where all the magic happens. We have to assign the XR interaction manager onto the interaction manager slot. Interaction layer mask, default, leave all the colliders how they are. For, for the select mode, we'll do multiple so that you can use two hands to grab instead of just one. And now for the movement type, instantaneous is fine. As you know, velocity tracking is what we want. Movement type, velocity tracking, so that this object will collide with other objects in the scene. And then we want to also set use dynamic attach to be on. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. All right. So let's let me reset my view. 
Okay, still a little low. But yeah, there we go. We can grab it, we can pick it up. Mess with it, do whatever we need to do. When we need to do some mining, you know, we're sitting here and just. <laughs> so yeah, we can grab it, we can move it around. The cool thing about this is wherever the collider is, it actually collides with the with different meshes and different colliders on there. See that? And if I drop it, it actually drops. And another cool thing is I can try to grab it in air, catch it. And if I miss, well, I can't reach the floor. Not yet. So there is ways to fix the floor thing, being able to pick things off the ground, maybe have it tossed back to your hand or have a button that goes to the floor or use floor detection. Like um, right now I have it set up to use the device, so we can use floor. Next we have to set everything up for the axe. Then when we have both of these, we can move on. Yeah. So now to set up the axe is basically the same thing. We want to remove this component. We want to add a component and XR grab. Well, first a box collider. We'll leave the Y as the same. Go ahead and zero out the X's and change the X for the size to 0 0.05 and the Z for the size to 0 0.05. Okay, and that should have our box collider perfectly, yep, perfectly on the axe. That's what we want. And now we add the XR grab interactable. Oh yeah, make sure you add the rigid body. So for the rigid body, we want to do the interpolate and interpolate to interpolate and the collision detection to continuous and then for the xr grab interactable go ahead and assign the xr interaction manager we go ahead and leave all the collision stuff the same movement type instead of instantaneous velocity tracking and uh use dynamic attach okay now our axe and our pickaxe is set up to be able to be grabbed with two hands and used in the space which is beautiful perfect i'd like to mention that i created a discord server so that all of you can talk to me whenever you need um, if any of these projects or any of my other projects are interesting to you and you would like my help with something else or just like to discuss and talk about things please join the discord server i'll try my best to be on there and we'll even host some random talk nights or something so i uh, hope to see you there thanks everybody for watching so this will be the end of this part and we'll continue this along in the next one um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, it would help me out. And also, remember to join the Discord if you're interested in having conversations or listening into some of the talk nights. Have a good one. Goodbye.